where they believe that that is everything. And they spend every waking hour of their day doing all that they can to penis mac. Everything they can to stretch and contort or even drugs in some cases to increase the size in any way at all. Even just like a f millimeter. Hey guys, it's Hink here and I'm back and of course Penguin Z is back and he made a part two video so of course I have to follow up with a part two video. I think he did a pretty decent job the first go around of telling about the dangers of Jail King. I really think he kind of dropped the ball on this video and just gave a lot of incorrect information and misinformation that, that I'd like to address, at least from my perspective. There is a complete hyperfixation on wiener size in a lot of looks maxing communities where they believe that that is everything. And they spend every waking hour of their day doing all that they can to penis max, like everything they can to stretch and contort or even drugs in some cases to increase the size in any way at all, even just like a f millimeter they are doing. All right, guys, he's spot on here. He's talking about how guys are hyper fixated on the size of their junk and want to do whatever it can to get bigger. And, and I've said this before, how guys will be willing to like strap their junk and contort it and do all of these different things for hours on end, rather than doing things that are actually going to make them a more like high value man, or at least to be perceived by women better, like going to the gym, like losing weight. I can't tell you how many times I've said, guys, 80% of you guys should not be doing PE at all. You should be focused on losing your body fat and getting down to as lean as possible to have as much as your natural size showing as possible as well as getting in good shape, guys. I've said it before, women care about the shoulder to waist ratio far more than they care about the actual size of your D. That's proven in science. I've made different papers about it, guys, or made different videos about it. And I'll tell you, personal story, when I first discovered PE, I kind of went all in and I let everything else fall by the wayside. And by that, I mean, I had two hours to work out in the morning and I was spending an hour and a half doing PE and then doing like 20 to 30 minutes of some like BS kind of free weights. And as a result, I gained 30 pounds of fat and I lost significant muscle. That's why I had to make this video. You know, Callie hit him with the before and after of me actually having to rededicate myself to what really freaking matters. And that's, in my opinion, is in getting in good physical shape. I found this YouTube channel who for a while now has been posting content pretty much exclusively focused around dropping this arcane knowledge on how to increase your cock size. Here he starts talking about how he, he found this YouTube channel and like couldn't believe how kind of weird this guy is about making all this content in that regard. Funny enough is I reached out to this guy and I'm not going to mention his name here. I really don't want to start any beef, but I mean, I'll be honest, I'm not entirely over it because it still really rubbed me the wrong way. And I said, I was early in my YouTube career, which is very fair. I did not have very many subscribers. And I reached out to this guy directly and I said, hey, we should do a collab. And I actually made a YouTube video on this channel about it. And he ignored me the first time. And then eventually enough, people said something about it when he, he said that, LOL, you are so far beneath me, you are not worth my time. Like, I, and I'm not, that's not even hyperbole. I'm not really exaggerating. And it's just funny because, you know, Penguin Z puts up a screenshot of his different videos and it's like 1.2 views, like 3.5K views. And it's, it's just funny because now my channel is actually getting more views than his is. At least when I first started out, he was at over 80,000 subscribers and I was at five, you know, now I'm almost at 20K and he is, you know, probably over 100K at this point. But it's still just interesting that I have a fraction of his followers, but I get more views on my videos. Anyways, I just wanted to throw that little, I'm not, I'm not jabbing anything because in fairness, the guy did reach out and he said, after I started blowing up and I'd already had like, I don't know, 10,000 subscribers, then he's like, oh yeah, you know, yeah, we should collab now. And I'm just like, you know, no, nah, dude, I'm good. You didn't want me back then. You can't have me now. But anyways. Like his whole mentality is all about his cock and and it's i don't know like this obsession from not only him but like the comments is so baffling to me so he also talks about how he's so like obsessed with his cock and you know somebody can look at my channel and obviously say say the exact same thing because all of my videos are largely about penis enlargement in some way shape or form guys but it's something that people want to know about i was unbelievably insecure about this and fortunately through Derek's video more plates more dates you know Callie put up the video I made about that I was able to figure out that this shit is real and it actually does work there are people who do want this information I just think that's very dismissive of him to be like oh look at this guy he's a freaking weirdo he's obsessed with his pee pee probably millions of guys are guys every guy I know is in some way obsessed about the size of their junk this dude's got an entire diet around increasing load volume 
why? It's not that important. I mean, I guess it's a cool thing to be able to do if you're fucking dumping DNA by the gallon. Like, I guess? Here he kind of clowns this guy, both the video that was made and the comment that was made because the guy wanted to increase the size of his load and he was doing things like completely changing how much water he was drinking, drinking like four liters of celery juice per day or something like that. In my opinion, Penguin Z almost seems like a bully in this video because he's saying like, look at all these freaking weirdos doing all this stupid stuff, lol, shame on them. When it's like, dude, if you want to increase the size of your load, like, you know, there's nothing wrong with that in my opinion. Now, I think if you go to a streams and have to change your entire lifestyle to do it that's one thing but you know whatever i'm gonna plug it here guys but that's why i made virility okay it's on amazon it's on leviathansubs.com but it's literally a supplement you take four pills a day and it can literally increase the size of your load if you want to go the supplement route it's backed by science i made a whole video explaining the ingredients in it but it's like it's not that weird to want a bigger load and i don't know why he's trying to to like villainize guys for for wanting to do something like that or to increase the size of their junk your johnson isn't pushing eight inches it's not the end of the world like a lot of these looks maxing gurus are trying to scare you into thinking it is it's not like you're going to be you know forced into a life of solitude and you know virginity because you have a five inch penis or whatever like that's not i don't know what videos he's watching it maybe if somebody knows that the looks maxing like p guys that are making it seem like if you're not eight inches you're not worth crap now i have seen a few of those on like r slash getting bigger but in general like especially with my content guys number one i try to promote physical fitness aside from like the pe stuff physical fitness and maximizing all of your qualities and all of your attributes doing things like maximizing your shoulder to waist ratio losing weight getting lean but on top of that i have so many videos dedicated to informing guys like on this study that like am i normal study that looked at over 10,000 guys that showed that the average penis size was 5.17 inches long bone pressed i've also made videos about how even in women that studied 3d models i have a whole video about it the, the size that women want based on science is literally about six inches by about five inches that's it i have never once tried to say like oh if you're not eight inches you're not worth crap and you know you're going to be miserable your life and quite Honestly, I don't know who's who's doing that. Even BD made a video early on and it's about the different like sizes and like what is an actual average size and what are the ranges. And in it, he, he said the same thing that I am, that guys, it's like seven inches even is remarkably big. I don't know who is promoting this. Oh my gosh, if you're not huge, if you're not first, you're last, but it, like if you're not huge, then you're not worth anything because all the guys that at least I pay attention to, which is I guess BD and like Perv McSwerve, um, and even Ben from Mailhanger, they all have this perspective that you know, you don't need to be massive and anything even close to eight is absolutely like ridiculous. My focus is trying to make you more secure with the size you have, understanding real size statistics and learning to appreciate yourself. Now, if you still want to try to get bigger on top of that, then, then that's fine too. In my opinion, that's what I say every video. Like there's nothing wrong with trying to be the best version of yourself and self-improvement. I think there's kind of a thin line between looks maxing and self-improvement when they're in some ways dedicated towards the same goal of improving your body you need to play with the cards you're dealt like and buying into like supplements and the the <laughs> extender medieval torture device all that kind of shit it's highly unnecessary here he talks about how it's like it's so unnecessary to do this stuff and once again he kind of in my opinion villainizes this now you know guys i, I get it here i am talking to you with a literally like luchador Rey mysterio wrestling mask on talking largely about penis enlargement and i might seem like a very weird guy i wear this mask because yes guys i'm actually a real medical doctor and i actually have a real practice and i actually have a real family that i'd like to protect because some of you guys out here are quite weird now here i am like weird weird shaming. I won't say weird. You're very, I've had people that have asked if they could come to my clinic to see me when what I do is not in any way urology focused. My point is I'm actually a normal dude. And I'll tell you that I recently went to a, a big city and I met up with BD and dude is actually a normal dude. Like he's not, we're not some like little like world of Warcraft from South Park gamers, like in our chair. Like I'm a normal dude. I have friends and I have a social life and I'm not just in my basement tugging on my junk all day and then like go up and eat my hot pocket and Mountain Dew. Like I'm a normal dude. I mean, and that's what I want people to see is like, oh my gosh, guys, like, you know, yeah, I, I say it every video, but I'm, I'm six, five and I'm a successful physician with a successful career. And that's why I can buy all these damn shoes that you see amongst 
amongst many other things. I was still insecure about my junk. In my opinion, that's nothing to be ashamed of. I wish more guys would talk about their insecurity because I know it would have made me feel far less insecure. I also think it's very dismissive because guys, body dysmorphia is a very real ICD-10, meaning like you can, it actually has a billable code in the medical literature with small penis syndrome and saw is, so is small penis anxiety. These real mental issues that a lot of guys have. Believe it or not, this guy is, is five foot six, at least according to, to Google. You know, he self-reported, you know, right here. Spoiler alert, no matter how big your dick is, you always want it to be bigger. I'm 6.5 inches and proud, yet I would love if my wiener was a little bit bigger. Every man in the world. That he's 6.5 inches, guys. So he's five foot six, he's skinny, and he's got a member that is over an inch, almost an inch and a half bigger than your average size at 6.5 inches, with the average once again being about 5.17 inches. He's like, I, I don't understand these freaking weirdos that, you know, they can't just get over the size they're deep. Like he's, you know, he's packing. Proportionally, that is gonna look very favorable on his frame. On top of that, he's got a successful YouTube channels with millions of dollars and sponsorship deals. Not everybody is in that position that he's in to just be like, oh yeah, you know, I f hate when on Reddit, when I used to get on there more frequently, people would just be like, oh, just get over it. If I could f get over it, guys, I would get over it. I wouldn't have this channel, but it was something that I, I couldn't just get over. I had tried to get over. I've spent the first over 40 years of my life trying to get over it, you know? It's not just something some guys can get over like he can. I just think it's very dismissive to not even consider the people with actual, like, kind of mental underlying disorders with this, with the penile dysmorphia disorder. And guys, I made a whole video about penile dysmorphia disorder, small penis syndrome, small penis anxiety. If you actually wanna know, like, hey, do I actually qualify for any of these actual clinical conditions, I break down how to know which one you have in that video there. A watch -a it designed to stretch your penis all day just trying to fight for a couple millimeters that is not a battle worth fighting that is a war worth losing right there trying to claw a couple millimeters away from destiny like trying to defy fate it's not worth the agony and it's not worth the money for it. If you are having agony from doing any kind of PE, you are doing this wrong, okay? This whole channel, guys, I teach you how to do PE, how to do it safely, and how to do it correctly based on actual medical studies and published literature, guys. I have an entire pumping playlist. I have a manual stretches guide that is free on this YouTube channel. I also have a paid course if you want it step-by-step -step laid out to you, which is available on my Thinkific page, guys. The link is in the description. You can gain significantly from this and it should never hurt. It's extremely dismissive to say like, oh, for a couple of millimeters, like no. Within six months, you should be able to put on somewhere between about a quarter of an inch. A quarter of an inch on, when you're talking about the size of your member, that is a significant increase in portion. I'm not good enough at math to know like what the difference proportionally between five and 5.25 inches is, but that's a significant difference. That's the difference between not being having a D visible on your hand and then having your D stick out over the top of your hand. Once again, guys, I put on an inch and a half in length. That is a life changing amount for me per personally, especially on my very large frame. Like I actually look big unequivocally now. But you know, my girl comments about it and it has made my life so much better. You can get bigger guys and you can do it safely, but it should never hurt. And there's guys that are giving dog shit information out there, you know, that we're kind of going to touch on in a little bit that, that are leading to guys getting hurt. And that's why they hit me up for coaching on my Patreon, you know, dot com slash doc hink because they've injured themselves because they were listening to the wrong freaking moron teaching him the wrong techniques. Three to five pounds worth of force, depending on how much slack is in the cord. That's a lot. Like that's, you're going to probably hurt yourself over time. And he's spot on. Guys, I've told you, I've talked about it before. I don't support the Phallison Forte or any of these all day stretchers because I do think that number one, the gains aren't as fast as other things like using manual stretches and extender hanging, anything like that. All of that time when your D is under pressure, that's more time for injury. That's more time for ischemia or lack of blood flow to develop. That's more time for a blister to develop because the, the glands, the skin of your penis is under pressure that whole time. It's just more time for injury, guys. I actually agree with him here. I would not recommend an all-day stretcher, and I, you know, I think that's potentially 
harmful. That being said, in general, it's a low tension over a longer period of time. So it's not that much different from a low tension extender, which a lot of the data on low tension extenders that actually shows penile enlargement is for wearing an extender between four to eight hours a day, guys. I'm not going to be a hypocrite in that regard, but I, I still just don't think it's a good idea to have your penis under that much tension during the day. Every single possible insecurity that anyone can ever have is being focused on and highlighted and put on this pedestal where it needs to be fixed and the only way to fix it is through buying these things or watching these videos and supporting this person who's giving away this information when that is just not the case it's leading to people just making themselves miserable all the time so here guys this is where i think he has a skewed perception of what like looks maxing is we are in the age of information where if there's literally any insecurity you have pretty much you can fix it in some way shape or form you're short you're five foot three and you want to be taller there's a literally surgery that you can have that can extend your legs by you know on the order of like three inches okay you can literally have surgery to get taller you don't like your jawline you can have surgery you don't like the size of your d you can actually undergo safe and effective techniques to increase the size of your d i mean there are so many things you want to tan but you don't want to get out in the sun you can use something like a melanotan a peptide that can actually increase your melanin production essentially in your skin there's all these things that you can do i just i think it's skewed to to say that these looks maxing guys and maybe they are maybe i haven't done enough looks maxing but to say these guys are pointing out your insecurities and making you insecure about them in my opinion it's these guys already have insecurities and therefore they're looking for these guys that might be able to help them that was my whole deal like how is this really that different from a fitness channel as far as like be what i do i'm teaching you the safe and effective techniques and even potentially supplements that can aid in your journey and actually potentially expedite or make it healthier once again i just don't think there's anything wrong with self-improvement now if there's anybody that has watched my channel and I have made them more insecure about the size of their D, then I hate that and I, I need to shut my channel down because that is absolutely not my goal and not what I'm trying to do. So, so trying to imply that channels you know, like my own are actually leading people to become more miserable, I think that's messed up. It's quite the opposite. When I found out from Derek, More Plates, More Dates, that PE was possible, like I wanted to cry with happiness. You guys might call me a pussy or whatever for that, but I, I'm dead serious. I thought my life, my, my situation, I would never be able to change it. I came across that Derek video and my life changed forever and quite honestly, for the better. For so many guys like myself, just knowing that there is actually something that I can do to change my situation was therapeutic in itself. I just think that's a really bad take. This is where it gets dangerous, and it's really done by bad actors that are peddling shit to you to make money off of your insecurity that they are only exacerbating. It's just a horrible practice of keeping people miserable and always feeling insufficient so that way they're responsive and more susceptible to buying this kind of garbage or subscribing to the people that just keep feeding into this belief. Once again here, he's talking about these bad actors that are making money trying to profit and exploiting these insecure people. There are people like that, guys. If you go on any of those prawn sites, there's all these commercials that like, want to learn how to pleasure a woman? You need this gummy so you can gain four inches in four weeks. Like that is exactly what he's talking about, is trying to make these guys insecure because they aren't big. But that's, that's really not the reality of any of the PE channels that I actually follow or any of the people that I actually listen to and if your experience is different please let me know in the comments and like lead me to one of these links to, of these people that is trying to make you more insecure or tell you that you need to have a big hog in order to be happy in life and guys I'm not trying to once again be all braggadocious here but I can't tell you how many dms and messages and even public posts I get thanking me saying like dude you changed my life because of you I was actually able to put on size I feel so much more confident and I, I, I'm just so much happier now hey guys you want to see my before and after pictures free on reddit you want free information about how to get bigger free on reddit free on my youtube so there's very few people that i know or listen to that are like that just have all of their stuff behind a paywall okay maybe gatekeeping isn't the right word i would argue especially if you're new to this don't buy anything just go to r slash getting bigger and just look through 
the plethora of information and guides that they have there for how to get started for free. And I was, you know, a huge contributor to that sub, not so much anymore, but there's people like me who have contributed on how to make this stuff safe and how to make it, make sure it's going to be effective without you spending a dime, guys. Just being told all the reasons why they're ugly and the only ways to fix it are by following these guides or buying these courses or these products. That's just fucking miserable and then what inevitably happens is you brainwash other people into following this path and it becomes like a cult a looks maxing cult where they've bought in and they will never come to terms with the reality that they've been scammed pretty much or they just never realize that the things they have been peddled about like how important you know the cancel tilt is or whatever really don't matter that much at all and once again, here he just talks about how, you know, oh, the only way to fix it is to, to buy my program or buy my supplements. Uh, but guys, there is real evidence from this. Even urologists, guys, here are two urologist videos talking about how penis enlargement is possible. Okay, it's largely about extender use, but that it is possible. Board certified urologists, guys, that are promoting that this is real deal. This is not a scam. And I put up papers looking at extenders and looking at pumps and looking at this P-Long trial, looking at a combination of extenders and pumps that all showed that there is published literature showing that this is possible. It is not some scam. It were not some cult, you know, shout out to cult of BD, but some cult that are just trying to convince people that this works. And if, if you don't believe it, then get out. There's he It's healthy to be skeptical, guys. There is a healthy amount of skepticism, which is why I put the links to the papers in my videos, and I want you to read them for yourself and figure out what works for you. Don't just listen to what I say or my interpretation of a paper. I was shocked in all of my looks maxing deep dives I've done over the last 10 days to see how many people defend it. That was the weirdest part to me, and I really think it's because they've just bought into it and then feel trapped like they have to keep supporting it, otherwise it was all for nothing. And guys, here he talks about how he's just shocked how many people defend it. I don't want to be evangelical about this, but guys, like I can't express to you how much my life has changed by getting bigger and by finding out this stuff was possible. Now, I had a textbook case of severe penile dysmorphia. I'm not going to lie. And I put way too much weight in it. And I know that that was a mental issue far more than a physical issue. But guys, I honestly believe that this is the only thing that would have corrected that. I just, I want to help other guys that were in other situations similar to me to know that it is possible. You need to love yourself and learn to just be the best version of yourself, but don't hate yourself or try to make yourself miserable about it. But if you want to improve, there's nothing wrong with that, guys. Remember, you are enough just as you are. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys like what me and Callie does, he has wallpapers for sale that you can buy. It's like five bucks, you know, the cost of a coffee in some places. But if you want to support me, you know, the links to all my products are in the description. And of course, if you want to show Callie some love, buy some of his wallpapers. Until the next one, guys. Peace and love.